is the MRT system built? Come explore with us. On a sunny afternoon, Anna is waiting for her cousin and uncle. She is excited. They are going to visit her uncle's workplace today. She spots them and calls out, Kenny! Uncle Joe! Hi, Anna! Kenny waves at her enthusiastically. The bespectacled man next to Kenny smiles warmly. Hello, Anna! Today, I'll show you both how we build a new MRT line. How exciting! Anna exclaims. Let's go, Uncle Joe! They take a short walk and arrive at a gigantic green wall. This is the work site of a station on Singapore's upcoming Thomson East Coast Line, Uncle Joe says. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Anna exclaims as she runs towards the entrance. Stopping her, Uncle Joe says, Not so fast, young lady! He hands each of them some safety gear. Safety is always our first priority. Keep your safety gear on at all times whenever you're in the work site. Okay, both of them agree in unison. Kenny gasps. Wow, Daddy, this is where you work? Everything looks so big from here, Anna says. Uncle Joe says, of course it is. It's a big project involving lots of people and lots of steps. Where do we even start, Daddy? Kenny asks. Uncle Joe says, before we start building, we need to consider the health and safety of everyone. We first check what impact building the MRT station will have on the area. We also take extra care to reduce the impact on the animals and plants in the area and try to preserve as much of nature as possible says Uncle Joe. Kenny says, Yay! That's great to hear! We also use a few methods to help us learn different things, Uncle Joe says. For example, we have to find out if the soil is strong enough for the stations and tunnels or if strengthening needs to be done. He continues, we can use machines to scan the ground without digging into it too. As they walk along the construction site, Kenny spots a grey, gooey substance being poured into a hole. Daddy, what's that for? Uncle Joe replies, we're building a diaphragm wall. It supports the soil around the underground MRT station's outline, Uncle Joe continues. To keep the buildings and work site safe, the construction of the diaphragm wall has to be done continuously until it has been completed. But Uncle Joe, Anna cries, won't it be very noisy at night? Well, we try our best to reduce the noise, Uncle Joe replies. In fact, we monitor the noise levels every day with a noise meter, Uncle Joe says. Anna and Kenny are amazed. Kenny wonders out loud, Daddy, where are the MRT tunnels? How are they built? That's a great question, Kenny, Uncle Joe answers. We use a tunnel boring machine to build them. The tunnel boring machine is like a giant earthworm. Earthworms eat soil from the front and expels it all at the back, he continues. 
The tunnel boring machine consists of a cutter head, screw conveyor, concrete rings, and a conveyor belt. Just like the earthworm, it moves soil from the front to the back. How long are the tunnels? Do you have to walk in them every day when you work? Anna asks. I'm glad you asked, Uncle Joe says. The tunnel between two stations might seem short, but an entire MRT line can be more than 40 kilometers long. We walk in them when we carry out inspection works and also use drone technology to take pictures and videos of hard to reach areas. Both Anna and Kenny are amazed at all the work that goes into building the MRT system. They did not know that so much technology is behind it. Our job is to make the station safe, accessible and enjoyable for every commuter, says Uncle Joe. Kids, it's time to go home. The sun is about to set, Uncle Joe says. As they walk towards the exit, they see some workers entering the work site. Uncle Joe waves at his colleagues and shouts, Hey guys, thanks for taking over the next shift! Isn't it tiring for you, Daddy? Kenny asks. Yes, it's hard work, but I love my job. I always feel very proud after completing every project. Soon, everyone will get to enjoy greater convenience, Uncle Joe says, as the three of them make their way back to the MRT station. As they board the train home together, Anna thought to herself, When I grow up, I want to be an engineer and build the MRT system just like Uncle Joe.